Hi, Joy. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Thanks so much for taking time for us to chat. Um, Thank you. Can you share a bit about you know, who you see in your practice? Right. So I see children, adolescents, and adults. Uh, lately, I've been focusing a lot on working with women of color, specifically around workplace trauma or workplace discrimination, childhood trauma, and in relationships. Mm -hmm. And what are some common uh, workplace challenges that you've um, seen you know, clients come in with? Some common workplace challenges have been facing discrimination at work, um, maybe not being promoted because of their um, race or ethnicity. Also, uh, being faced with a lot of microaggressions from people, even superiors, and not feeling like they can address that in a professional way, and offering a space for them to process how they feel about that, and, and even like role play and practice how to have those discussions. Yeah, role playing can be so empowering. That's great. Yes, thank you. Um, you mentioned trauma and also relationship issues. Can you yes. give examples of those um, common concerns? So with trauma, there's been a lot of like abuse from childhood or even like deaths that happened in families, losses that people didn't necessarily process as children or even adolescents or adults. And now they're kind of like hitting them when it comes to sometimes relationships. So being in a relationship and not knowing how to communicate or show affection um, or being overly affectionate in their partner, not responding well to that. Some of those kinds of things we talk about in sessions. Mm -hmm. Navigating all of that. Yes, yes. And I understand you use cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT in your yeah. practice. What does that entail? So some of that entails just kind of like working on the thoughts that come around their feelings and, and having some take home stuff for clients to work on so that they can work on the things that we're doing in sessions outside of, outside of the room and, you know, really feel like they're being successful in reaching their goals. Do you have an example of the kind of, you know, quote unquote homework that okay. you might give clients? So sometimes it's like journaling activities. Sometimes I'll give them a prompt and I'll have them reflect on it for the week and then write it down a response. And if they want to share it in, in you know, fully, they can. Or if they want to just give like an overview of what the process was even like to be able to think about it, it's something that we do. Mm, it's like encouraging people to continue the session even outside of session. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. Enjoy. What message would you give clients who are either considering starting therapy in general mm -hmm. or thinking of starting therapy specifically with you? So I would say that finding a therapist can sometimes be very challenging and frustrating. And so when you feel like you have a connection with someone, it's important to like reach out and make try to continue to make that connection. Um, I want everybody to feel seen and heard and I feel like I create a very authentic space for people to do that and to feel supported and to feel successful. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that, Joy. Thank you.